Hello there, Internet! Version 2 here with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. That's right, this sword right here. And today, we are going to go up to this door and try and put these random assortment of cubes into it. Alrighty, so let's have a grab. Definitely not that side whatsoever. Let's have a grab, pull it around this way. Uh, definitely not that side whatsoever. Alright. Uh, hey, is that it? Oh, what do you know? Huh. That was so much easier than I expected it to be based on, you know, the fact that it was just like nothing but a clusterfuck of cubes. Whoa, the entire outside thing, the pentagon thing turned to that was all. That looked awesome. Kind of looks like castle battlements around the outside. In fact, based on the colour that's on the side, that may be what it's supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, boss time! <clears throat> Are we gonna see a return of the hands? No, we're gonna see darkness. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Joker! No, it's just a pedophile. Mm. The emo pedophile. Oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. We seem to bump in each other. Uh, we seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. What, is he looking up at the camera? He's breaking the fourth wall, doing that. Yeah. Look at these old drawings. Did you do them? I don't believe you did. Don't try and take credit for other people's work, you ass. Oh, you, you know, okay, never mind. Until I found these, I was upset about that little stunt. The goddess's guard. Dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Your guess is as good as mine. That was ages ago, I don't remember. Well, never mind that, because there is drawing suggests the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. Uh, fair enough. Your heart with rainbow. Yeah, you seem like the kind of guy who cares about rainbows, if you know what I mean. He's gay. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there everywhere for another gate of time. He's going to appear behind me and lick my ear, isn't he? No, he's going to appear over there and do his yoga. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. This guy is so emo. And gay. And a pedophile. The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. He's also horrible at rejection. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? But then I found this place. Get the fuck off me. Prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively get the fuck off. That's right, Link. Stand up for yourself. That girl, your adorable friend, she will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. This guy is such a dick. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that next time we meet, I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own scr- I honestly cannot say I remember you saying- I don't remember you saying anything even remotely like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, my memory's shithouse, but I don't remember anything along those lines. Well, I've been thinking, perhaps corporal punishment is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive you and to forgive and forget you. You'll strike a deal. I'll strike an asshole with my sword. I'm going to cut you with my sword, is what I'm trying to get at. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. Um, up your ass around the corner all the way to California! That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't play code with me. I know that you know, so why not let me in on the fun? Alright. Um, Tom Dantooine. Just go to Dantooine and you'll find it. Such behaviour. A mischievous boy like... You needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't get ease on you this time. As long as you don't steal my sword again, I'll be fine. I kicked your ass when you actually decided to use a sword. Um, lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any... Ugh. Guys, fucking freak. What the fuck? He's been cutting himself. What the fuck is... Yep, he's been cutting himself. What the fuck is wrong with it? I pro... What the fuck is wrong with this guy? A sword? <laughs> Namely, Mercy. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. Come to me... Oh my god. I'm just gonna stop reading everything this guy says. It is so creepy. 
And it's probably because I have a sick, twisted mind and take everything the wrong way, but I'm going to have a kind of guess that... Okay, now he's talking about soaking me in blood. This is... This is getting way too creepy. Hey! Fuck off! Dude! Dude! Fuck off! <laughs> hey! Hey, guy, eat a dick! Dude, eat a dick! Oh, fuck off! Not this bullshit again. It's amazing how much I don't like this fight. You know, part of me was hoping I'd be done with the whole... Um... Ah, that works! Hey! Let's got another one. What a dick. Okay, come on, we get it, we get it. You can grab my sword. Oh, come on! I, saw, I did a horizontal strike. I remember, yeah, this is the guy who was telling me to not telegraph my attack so much. Okay, I'm gonna attack from up. I'm gonna attack you from up here, alright? Come on! I don't like this at all. Can I just knock one of these? Oh, come on! I don't like this fight. Stop it! What the? F what just happened? What the fuck happens there? What the fuck is that? You see, like it warps, it like warps around whenever I start with tracking. See? Look at that! It warps around. What horseshit is that? Fuck off! Seriously. I'd much rather fight a better boss, like those giant hands. That and they get eyes this time, just because a lack of originality would be so much better than fighting this asshole. God damn it! I do not like this guy at all. In case you can't tell. So it looks like getting him to warp like that, and then just beating the shit out of him is a good strategy. Okay, maybe not. And there goes my remote that I used to stop the recording. Once again, I'm gonna have to search for it at the end of it. Alright. God damn it, this guy is a dick. I'm hoping he gets his sword back soon because it is so much easier to kill him when he uses his sword. God damn it! Like, God damn it! Hey! Oh, you're an asshole! He's probably proud of it, sir. Come on! Okay, wait. Let me just recalibrate my sword. I'm recalibrating, you asshole! God. Okay, seriously, guys, these things are really starting to piss me off. Get rid of them. Get rid of them and I'll come and I'll come at you and attack you, alright? Fuck off with your damn. Okay. There we go. Is he gonna get out his sword? There we go. Whoa! Okay, now he's got two of them. Hey! It's about to attack you, asshole. Whoa! Dude! You're an asshole! Yeah, you really are a dick! Hey! Dude, don't do that. It's creepy as fuck. Okay, seriously? Guys, it's a giant asshole. You know, I had a really good opinion of this dungeon, but now that this. Why? Dude! How are you supposed to dodge that? And I just attacked the completely wrong way then. I did. Bro. You 
give up! The moment you start using a a sword. How are you supposed to dodge that? Why? Just come to. Really getting sick and sick of your shit, dude. Fuck off. You're being a real dick right now. You're being a giant tool. Come on. I can't even attack him when he does that. This guy's a massive asshole. Come on, do your best. Do the thing that I can actually reflect against. Oh, come on, hold uh, on. You know, I was really liking this dungeon until you came along and made it a shit, dun shit dungeon. I don't get me wrong, I still really like this dungeon, but I do not like this boss fight at all. There we go. I can get him when he does that now. Are you gonna stop? At all? Sick of your shit, man. Holy shit, I actually dodged out the horizontal one. Dude, come on. There we go. Or is he gonna start on the using one sword? Enough of this foolishness. I am Girahim, demon lord, arsehole, faggot, douchebag. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is, you are still nothing. Not, a, not just a human, a human child, and yet you prevail. It's because you are a shit cunt. You filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will drag you into an eternity of torment. Cheer up, you emo kid. Yay! It's over! I'm sorry, but those Girahim boss fights are just annoying. I mean, once he starts using the swords, it's good. Like, it's a fair fight once he starts using his swords. But before he uses his swords, it's just annoying as hell. And his whole attitude, I just... It makes me hard to actually like the boss fight. Your life is increased by one and is now also fully replenished! So that makes it, what, 17? Fuck yes. This is... Apart from the time that I 100%ed Master Quest, Ocarina of Time, this is probably the most hearts I've ever gotten in a Zelda game. It might have something to do with the fact that I started with six. But yeah, that Gyrion boss fight, once he uses his swords, I enjoy it. But because of his whole attitude that he has... <laughs> on here? Um... or not at the moment my um things are a bit messed up here so um if you guys can't hear me right now oh okay you might okay um if my voice just went for a little bit there i apologize there um i use a um i use a camera thing to record my voice and it went a bit haywire just then and it um it stopped recording i have no idea if when it stops recording it still picks up my voice or not because of the way i've got my setup i If you can hear me, then hello. But if you can't hear me, I apologize. Although if you can't hear me and I'm apologizing, then apologizing is kind of moot, isn't it? What the hell is going on here? Why is it doing that? Pump my sword, bitch! Oh yeah. I still have no idea if you guys can hear me or not. I think you can, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Changed. The flames of Din have imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. Dude. Have we got the Master Sword now? Holy shit, yes! All of the yes? I still have no idea if you guys can hear me or not. Yeah! Alrighty!
Is the other triangle glowing now? <gasps> we have all three glowing triangles! Yay! Well, no one's explained to Link what that means yet. <laughs> Turn on top. There we go. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the three sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. Yes, we now hold the Master Sword. All of the wind. With this. Alright, um, I, I, I apologize. During that, I'm pretty sure my voice cut out numerous times during just then, but, um, I'm gonna just... Actually, no, I won't go to heaven. I'll, I'm just gonna pause it here for a second. Um, I'll be back in a second, if I can actually find my controller, because I dropped it during that boss fight, I accidentally hit it. There it is. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera, which I used to record my voice, went a bit haywire. I honestly don't know if it's fixed right now because I kind of just like turned it on and off again a few times and now it's not bugging me out. Like for the moment, it's staying on and not turning itself off. That's what it was doing before. At least I think it was. I'm still not 100% sure what it was doing. So I'm sure my voice was cutting out weirdly. Um, during the Master Sword Cut scene, but hopefully it's fixed now. So we're just gonna fly back up to here, and we're gonna go back to Skyloft. We'll do the um, we'll go to the sealed grounds. I think it is on the next episode. So at the moment we're just gonna go to Skyloft and um, see what's up. Maybe do something. I don't know. Alrighty, ready? Whee! I'm trying to think of what's actually there to do in Skyloft. Oh, um. Wait, check them out for a second. Is there any, uh, oh, there's a goddess cube inside the Thunderhead. We should go get that now, shouldn't we? Can you zoom in? Oh, no, you can't zoom in there. But it doesn't look like, there's a, but there's a goddess cube there, so call the boat. Yeah. Let's fly into the Thunderhead first, then um, get the goddess cube that's there. While we're at it, I suppose. And by while we're at it, I mean, let's, navi let's navigate away from what we were doing and go do something else. Ah, tornadoes. Ah, tornadoes! Alright. We're nearly there. It's very hard for me to judge distance to see exactly how far away I am from here. It's, like, it's just a bit... It's very strange, the way it works. Uh, the way it looks. There we go. Into the Thunderdome. Head. Alright, so let's get on that for a second. So it's just on the Isle of Songs. Awesome. And we've got these assholes to deal with. Let's fly away from them. Bye bye. What if you can fly at the top of the thumbhead? Probably not. Whee! Alrighty. Looks like Clear Sky's at the top of the thumbhead. I wonder, is this going to be on top of it, or is it going to be beside it, or not? Because if I remember correctly, we have seen a goddess chest that's been closed off there before. But again, my memory's horrible, so... Why trust me? Alright, let's dive onto the top of it and hope for the best. Whee! Whee! Hey, it actually is on the top. Well, there you go. Yay! Hey, get out into the front of it. What is it? It's... You got the small bomb bag. It can hold five extra bombs. So carry it with you when you need extra firepower. Your pouch is full, so the item was sent to the item check. I cannot think of a more random item that could have been. Alrighty, so now that we got the small bomb bag... Hey! Why did we... I jumped back onto him and I noticed we had zero of the feathers. Why? Very odd. I don't try and understand this game sometimes. I just roll with it. Hey! Those thingies are disappearing out of nowhere! Assholes! Go away! Shoot! 
Shoo! Dragons, we're gonna call them. Alright, let's fly like a bird. Oh wait, we are one! I get it. Alrighty, and into the beam of light. Yeah. So has anyone else been into the Thunderhead before? Like, has anyone in Skull Earth actually been in there? Because it looks like no one else is able to get in there. Uh, I flew right over it. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm the first person who's actually been able to enter the Thunderhead because of the, um, because I needed to play the Harp thing to get in there. Also, is anyone else in Skull Earth noticing these giant beams in the sky? I mean, we know on what's his name. Bruce did because he fell through one. Also, hey, 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 well, turn around. I screwed up. I wanted to do this. All oh, right, when you dive into the skull, off it just changes. I forgot. Damn it! I wanted to jump on top of that. I wonder, are you actually able to get back up there or not? Because I want to try that diving thing again. Now that I'm better at it, I want to try it again to see if I can do it better. But yeah, I'm assuming these other people are noticing these giant beams. I mean, you look around. I can't actually see the red one from here, but you just see these giant beams everywhere. And then there's this, this one random one that's just gone straight into the Thunderhead. Like, does anyone else notice these? Like, come on. Come on, guys. Let's be serious. They're giant fucking beams just in the sky. How have you not noticed them? Have you got anything new? Uh, not by the looks of it. You don't have anything. Do you? Either of you have anything? Uh, yes, he's got a bubble above his head. Welcome! Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't be sitting in front of a customer. You see, recently I haven't been able to sleep at night. Ah, oh, sorry, I also shouldn't be complaining in front of a customer again. Ah, oh, hello, welcome to my humble little side business over here. Ah, uh, yeah, you do shit. You know, if I knew your name, I'd so actually try and go to your house at night and help you, but... You know what, we might, do, we might just do that. Let's, what's this guy's name? This is Bertie! Tyler's house husband and business, and he's in charge of fusing po the post shop he runs with his wife. He is also responsible for taking care of their infant child. What's your name? This is Love. So, Birdie and Love. <laughs> I like how you can just get feet and just examine the people around. So, where's Birdie and Love? Oh. I've only got this. Okay, fair enough. Ah, fortune teller's creepy. Alright, so Birdie and Love. So, next time we go to sleep, let's have a look for Birdie and Love's house and see if there's anything we can do there. Hey, person. You're creepy. Hey, Gondo! I've... Let me check what I need to upgrade my quiver. Upgrade! Aha! Alright, what do we got? So, the bug net, we need... Ancient Flowers and Dumbleweed, so we're not going to bother with that. And for the quiver... Quiver? Quiver? We need Dusk Relics. Oh, oh. Never mind. How many dusk relics could you have gotten during this game? Like, because I don't, I didn't, I think I got like four or five in total between my trials. Also, is there three doors out of this place? Well, there you go. Alrighty, let's leave. I'm just gonna walk away now. Tempted to, in the next episode, look for Betty and Love's house and help them at night. Tempted. Not sure if I'll do it yet. Not sure if I'm going to try and help them and stuff, or I'm just going to say fuck it and we'll go to Sealed Grounds next episode. Oh, I can't sit the side. So I'm not sure how much more side questing I want to do in this game, because to be perfectly honest, all the side quests that we've done, um, that we've done, I've, I've kind of done them all. I don't know if there's any more side quests that I really want to do in this game. I'm not going to finish off the Lumpy Pumpkin thing, unfortunately. I apologise, but whatever. Anyway, on the next episode, I'm just going to say fuck it, and we're just going to go to the Sealed Grounds next episode. So until then, this is version 2, signing out.